People think that we slept with this girl that we've known for some time, and we haven't. Man, this is sure a reminisce of the 90s all over again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And it's weird, you know, that people think that. Especially, it's kind of like, you know, there's a piece of pie on the table, and everyone's saying you ate it, yet you didn't. And you're like, well... Can you blame me for something that I actually did do? While you may have not have taken a whole piece of pie, the pie that sits in front of you, you gotta jab your finger in that pie crust. That's not a euphemism for something. But once you stick your finger in that pie crust, you walk away from the pie and you leave a crumb trail, okay? And that crumb trail leads back to you. So although you didn't steal a piece of the pie, you stuck your finger in the pie and you made a mess from it. Why do you get so upset when you leave a crumb trail of things that always lead back to you and makes you look extremely suspect? Anyway, that's not really the point of this video, which is that we have not slept with this person. The last person we slept with was our ex, who we haven't dated for like two years. So you guys are wrong, 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 wrong. Fuck you, stupid assholes, you're wrong. Uh, whatever we do with our future is our business. Um, if we want to sleep with a 90 year old woman, we can sleep with a 90 year old woman. Does not matter. Y'all can go f yourself on that issue. But a lot of you guys want to keep thinking that this happens and it didn't. Okay. Like I said, uh, if I want to make love to a talking goat who can consent and is an adult, that's my business. Greg? You're absolutely right. It is your business and only your business. But the problem is, is that you, Greggy, are not one to be private regarding any relationships that you have. So if you post out information, if you get in a fight with an ex or one of your exes, many exes or ex-wifes, and you post personal information that is talking about the personal things that you do in the bedroom, which you have done with practically every single past relationship that you've done. You've slandered them, you've smeared them, you've released private information, private text conversations. People are going to get into your business. If you don't do that, you won't have people in your business. But you are the one and only Gregory. Onision, the man who doesn't understand privacy and then gets upset at the internet when they start to dive into all the private things that he's released publicly that he shouldn't have been releasing publicly to begin with. Don't get upset at the internet because you make bad choices to release things that should be kept private. Someday, you know, if I want to make love to your favorite YouTuber and they love me back, that's my business, you know, so long as they're an adult. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do with this example, but no YouTuber would ever want to make love with you. And that's just the thing. You guys have this concept of grooming right? But that requires you have sex with somebody right after they turn 18. Oh, man. Um, no, 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 no. You have a very skewed concept of grooming. You can groom someone towards something or anything for that matter. You can groom somebody into being in a manipulative, abusive relationship, but grooming does not always entail or necessarily is always linked to the act of S-E-X. Intercourse, it's, it's not. Can it be? Yeah, sometimes, but you can groom somebody and not actually have intercourse with them. You can groom them to believe that you're the almighty, one and only, you know, um, n infallible, perfect human man. That she's the only person that she's allowed, that you're the only person that she's allowed to talk to. That's a form of abuse, it's a form of grooming, it's a form of manipulation. Grooming is just not intercourse and if you think that grooming only entails intercourse then you're really more naive than I thought you were. You can be groomed in religion. You can be groomed in a cult. You can be groomed in abuse, manipulation, physical, emotional, verbal, and it's quite clear as day considering that the, you force this person to make a statement on your YouTube channel which is just really really bizarre. Hello everyone. My name is Sarah, and recently I've seen some allegations against my friend Kai regarding me. And I just came to make my statement since I see a lot of people talking for me, but people are saying that we had sexual conversations or were planning on having sexual relations when I was underage. And 
We never did. I don't know why people are now saying this and bringing up old screenshots that have already been addressed, but Kai is one of the sweetest people I know and he doesn't deserve this. And it's not fair to me and it's not fair to him and I wish this would all stop. Greg, let me make this really, really clear for you. The reason that people are even alluding or even saying these things, such as you and your wife have groomed this person, is because you and your wife are adults, and this woman by the name of Sarah, you invited into your house to live with you when they were a minor at the age of, I believe it was 15, correct me if I'm wrong, all you people who know all the little small details. You moved a 15-year-old in to your house with you, who is a minor, and then, quote, allegedly tried to get guardianship over her. If that is not creepy, if that is not out of the ordinary, if that is not weird, I don't know what is. Now granted, this person, Sarah, is now 18 years of age, which is good, but it still doesn't negate the fact that it's not normal to grab a 15 year old, fly her over to your place, pay for all of her flights, pay for all of her crap, and live with a 15 year old who is not related to you at all. So your wife or you have never had intercourse with this person, but nonetheless, it's still really weird considering that the person is a minor and who at one point was 15 years old living with you guys. It's just not normal, man. It's not normal. Not normal. And the person you guys are talking about has been 18 for a while. And they've we've hung out with them multiple times. And we never had sex with them. We never made out with them or whatever. As an adult. And, and pr prior. Never. And no one's going to apologize. That's what's crazy. Is we've been accused of such ridiculous things that people have no proof of because it never happened. And yet, boom. Like... In order to have a crime, you need often a victim and some kind of proof and the events who have actually happened. This is how stupid the internet is. Anyway, uh, the real point of this video is that this is the last time I'm talking about any of this. Well, we do know one crime that you've committed, Greggy Poo. Nature was the victim of your destruction of wetlands, which you're now paying thousands of dollars in fines for, which there is actual video evidence of you doing, and the state saying what you're doing is illegal, and that you've committed a crime destroying wetlands. So that much has been established, that you have done something illegal in your life, finally. We all know that you are very, always high top above the law, Greggy. Well, this time you done goofed, and you're paying sincerely for it. I'm not going to talk about that person that people are talking about who we still haven't done anything with, and they're they're an adult. I'll believe that when I see it, Greggy Poo. We know how much you just, you, you always have to respond to everything that's talked about with you. You've said this in the past in videos, I'm not gonna respond to this dumb drama anymore, but then you make another video on drama again, blasting one of your exes again because they said something negative about you publicly that you didn't like. Very common behavior that has happened for the last five, six years with this man. You know, and I cannot say this enough. If I sleep with Gerard Way, I will not make it your business because it's not your business. Like, I just, the cockiness, the arrogance, the narcissism. It's amazing that you guys actually wound up being the narcissistic ones. The narcissism of you guys to just say that we slept with someone, it's insanely pathetic because you have no proof and this incident never occurred. Okay, cool. Let's hold you to that standard, man. Let's hold you to the standard that you create for yourself. I want to believe you, Greggy. I want to believe. I really do. But time is the this time is the always the lesson with you. Privacy is number one. Keeping things private with who you are associated with, especially in the bedroom, needs to be kept private. If you had learned the lesson of privacy from the very beginning, Greg, you wouldn't be where you are right now currently. And on the topic of privacy, special thanks to our sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is the number one trusted leader in the VPN service, so you may be asking yourself, what is a VPN and why would I need that? 
Well, for starters, a VPN has great uses of hiding your IP addresses and location. It encrypts your communications so your ISP can't see what you're saying. It allows you to watch your favorite content, especially if it's blocked from country to country. You can avoid censorship and surveillance from your ISP, from Facebook, from all these different sites that you use on a daily basis, including YouTube, that tracks everything you do. It is a great way to actually have privacy. I personally already use ExpressVPN and I've been using it in the last few Twitch streams that I've been doing. Press that big old button, connect to where you want to connect to anywhere around the world, and voila, you got internet privacy. Less than $7 a month and a free 30-day trial. Sign up today using my vanity URL, expressvpn.com slash repsion, linked right down below here, also linked down below in the description. Sign up today for an entire year and get your first three months off absolutely free. And you went off the word of some jealous bitch that we haven't talked to forever. That we ha want nothing to do with. <laughs> like seriously. Kai's ex, and this is just speculation. Kai's ex gets pissed off because she thinks we're in a relationship with someone. Has her friend trash talk us. What a jealous bitch. Listen, this is why we dumped you. Okay? Because you're psycho. <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. Why did you just ask us to Kai's ex? Why didn't you just email us and say, hey, are you in a relationship with this person? And we would have said, ha ha, no, we're not. <laughs> and one last reiteration. If at any point we want to date whoever we want, if I wanted to date my uncle, it's my business. Pretty sure I can legally date my uncle. That's really gross, though. But we did not groom anyone as they would have been bedded by now, if that were the case. So, um, yeah, but I'm getting a tattoo. I think I made that the title of this video, a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo, and it's going to directly revolve around not f***ing with your assholes. Really? You're getting a tattoo in dedication of not responding to us? What a r original, creative... A, a tattoo idea. I mean, to get a, a permanent tattoo on your body just to remind you not to respond to people and and uh, drama that you create for yourself on the internet. Man, that's that's a that's that's a orig originality right there. That's that's the best reason to get a tattoo is to as to remind yourself of all the YouTube haters on the YouTube platform. Big old tattoo. I don't respond to haters anymore. <laughs> Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? A tattoo dedicated to not responding to people on the internet because of the stuff that you create for yourself. Now that, it my, that, that my friendo, that is pathetic. That is a low tier, trashy, trailer trash tattoo level right there. But hey, if that's what you want to get on your body, by all means, go right ahead. How about that, huh? Isn't that great? I'm gonna get a tattoo because I'm so sick and tired of dealing with these motherfucking morons who think they can tell me what's happened in my life already. You know, you could predict the future because that's unknown, right? But when you talk about the past and the shit you're saying happened never happened, the, the person that you're saying it happened to says it never happened to them, the other person says it never happened, I say it never happened, and you perverted assholes can't just, you just can't stop thinking about us fucking people. Like, that's how retarded you guys are. Well, for one, Gregor, I've never claimed that you've slept with the person that the internet's claiming you do. I wouldn't do that unless I had actual evidence. So in regards to the, the, the internet making that ac uh, accusation towards you, it's a bit uh, wrong on their part. However, I do believe that there is grooming involved, and as I already previously discussed, grooming is not something that only leads to intercourse. It leads to other forms of abuse that people can be abused by in the form of grooming. That being said, I would doubt anyone. This is not a this is not a you issue, Greg. This is a universal issue. If someone uh, your age who's married with a very young wife who the wife usually always wants to have a third party person in the relationship or you try to force the third party into the relationship into a poly relationship, which has been something that you've done in the past when your wife didn't actually didn't want to have a third party relationship, but you wanted her to have a girlfriend. So you try to force her to be in a relationship that she didn't want to be in. Your wife is young. You are old. It's really weird when you invite a minor to come to live with you. And if people have speculations, it is with good reason. It's not the fact that, oh, you did this. It's, oh, this person is in danger because this person is a minor and doesn't know what they're getting themselves into to be groomed by somebody who's a master manipulator. Maybe if you didn't make it public that you were living with a 15-year-old at some point, this wouldn't be an issue. 
no one would know anything, but how's the internet? You know, you and privacy, man. You, privacy, they don't go hand in hand. They don't work. They're always on opposites. You're like, oh, they're, they're f***ing, they're f***ing, they're f***ing, they're f***ing. What a bunch of scumbag, disgusting pieces of shit you guys are. Like, you just putting all these perverted things in everyone's life. Oh, they're grooming teenagers. Someone the other day said that my whole house is full of teenagers. There's literally no teenagers here. Literally no teenagers. so funny somebody the other day said there's there's, there's my, my house is full of teenagers man it's full of teenagers there's literally no teenagers here man there's none of them uh, like you can just tell how serious you can tell on his face right here you can tell how serious he is being right now that he's just so worked up about someone on the internet saying that his house is full uh, <laughs> Of, of, te of teenagers just the way the way he's talking is just he, it's so pompous and so like angry and and serious that somebody would even allude to the fact that his house is full of you know 50 teenage girls or something like that it's funny it's so so funny this is so this is so entertaining to me thank you greg thank you for entertaining me and and, and inspiring me to Continue to make content on my free time for just because it's fun. Thank you, Greggy. Thanks for paying my tuition again. So where the f*** did you come up with this? Okay? Like, seriously, you're talking about shit that isn't real. You, you created this fantasy of Onision, and you just went with it, and you stated it like it's fact. There's some f***ing morons out there who have made multiple videos on shit that never happened, and they're getting paid thousands of dollars for it. The internet is so dumb. You guys are so dumb. And this is why I can't talk to you about this shit anymore. Because when I talk to you, it's like I go, da da da, and you go, bah, 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 bah. you just hear it a totally different way, and you're a fing walking, talking SpongeBob meme. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm getting a tattoo, brah, and it's it's gonna basically be my official breaking up with you guys, all these drama whores. I'm gonna have a tattoo that says straight up, go f*** yourself. It's not gonna say go f*** yourself, it's gonna say something else. I'll make a whole video about it, it'll be fun. Um, but just so you know, and this is how stupid the people are that I have to deal with, if I'd make a video that's not about your accusations, which are totally false, it's not that I'm trying to distract from the issue. It's that this channel has thousands of videos on it that aren't about drama. Yeah, that may be true. But if you look in your past, the majority of your videos that have insignificantly high views in the past on YouTube, most of them had high views due to the fact that you were controversial and did uh, blasted out drama stuff with all your previous relationships. I remember that video that you, uh, I don't remember which video it was, but Basically, it was with that, that girl, Billy, that you had over, and your wife went away to go do something for like a day or so, or she went out, and you ended up uh, massaging her and putting oil on her butt. Okay? You massaged another girl's butt, and your wife had told you, like, you, she doesn't want you to do anything with this girl that's in your third-party poly relationship because it was just between her and this other girl, but you wanted it on it, and you somehow ended up massaging her butt ox. Um, I remember that video, that video got a couple, I think it was like 100, 100, 200, 300,000 views when you made a, a video addressing that, trying to justify why you oiled up another girl's bum. This is who, I have to deal with you morons. That's what's overwhelming. I have to deal with you idiots constantly telling me that my life is something like crazy. Anyway, so yeah. This was really therapeutic, but the reason I'm like so aggressive towards you guys right now is because I can't talk about this anymore. So I'm getting it all out, you know, <laughs> all over your face. You deserve this. You earned it. Your lies, your bullshit. Following all these people who only want a paycheck, 
Like, literally, every YouTuber I've seen who's made shit about this, Realstream, Repzilla, Repsian, they're all talking about how they get paid. They're like, yep, thanks for paying for my tuition. Thanks for paying for my girlfriend's uh, lingerie. Realstream was talking about how much money he's making recently off all this shit. And you f morons don't even see that. That this is all a game of profit and none of these people care about the truth. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that, Greg, because again, thank you for the tuition payment. Um, I don't make videos with the intention of money. Uh, if you know anything about my channel, the majority of my videos have all been demonetized. However, the last few videos I've made on you have not. I don't understand how. Uh, maybe YouTube likes me talking about you. I don't know. Uh, regardless, I don't make these responses for money. I do it for fun. If I make money, cool. If I don't, whatever. But I recall, I can easily debunk this because some of my earlier videos that I made on you back in like 2013, I think in 2012, you content ID'd my content, okay? In the past, you've content ID'd me. If you don't know what content ID'd me, that means you took the monetization off of the video, you content ID'd it, which means that you put monetization on the video for you. So even though I use clips of you, you content ID'd my content and you made money off the video that I made in response to you. And guess what? Those videos I never removed. Okay? Because at the end of the day, it wasn't about money to me. It's because this is, well, at one point I did care about the quote unquote truth and I still do to an extent, but I just like covering your drama and the things that you do and the things that you say and the things that you publish and the things that you release of, of private conversations and stuff like that. Why do I like to cover it? Because it's fun. Because it's entertaining. And if I can do something that's fun and entertaining and make perhaps money off of it, cool. Whatever. That's what it boils down to. And that pisses you off so much. It pisses you off so much that I can make a video towards you and it can get 1 point f almost 5 million views. <laughs> but <laughs> don't ask me how that happened. But it's amazing. Almost 1.5 million views just making a response off you destroying your backyard and destroying wetlands. That is amazing to me. You guys are amazing to me. The people who share my videos are amazing to me. And I'm glad that I can be a source of your entertainment regarding this dum dum, this doo doo head known as Greg Gregory, also known as Onision. It's fun. And I appreciate you guys giving me the views. I appreciate you guys sharing these types of videos that I make towards them because it's so much fun. It feels like the original OG days of, of YouTube back when I was, I first started this crap responding to him. And it's, I don't know, it's nostalgic to me. It's fun. And Greg, I wouldn't make responses to you if you stopped doing dumb things and posting dumb videos and doing drama stuff like you do. If you don't do the drama stuff, I got nothing to respond to. It's all on you, my dude. You know who cares about the truth? The fucking most honest YouTuber. Ah, yes, the most honest YouTuber card. Let's listen to a song, shall we? Do you know who has to point out that they're about to be really honest? People who aren't normally honest. Hello, I am Onision, the most honest YouTuber, or maybe one of the most honest YouTubers. Uh, I don't know of anyone more truth-telling than me, but I'm one of the most honest YouTubers, if not the most honest YouTuber. Some people consider me to be the most honest YouTuber. One of the most honest YouTubers on the internet. The most honest YouTuber. There's a reason people call me the most brutally honest YouTuber. It's because I f***ing am. I'm the most brutally honest popular YouTuber. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people know me to be the most brutally honest YouTuber. You're being talked to by one of the most honest YouTubers on YouTube. If you're gonna f with someone, don't f with one of the most honest people on YouTube. Self-proclaimed, we'll say. Other people call me it too. But self-proclaimed, one of the, if not the most honest YouTubers. Okay, I'm extremely painfully honest. It hurts sometimes. So when you don't trust the proclaimed most honest YouTuber, or one of the most honest YouTubers, you see how honest I am? I'm just flowing the facts. I hope you appreciate my transparency, my honesty. I am transparent. I am honest. I have all the facts, and you guys don't really have much of anything. Hey, I'm an on Fact Machine, as known by some. Honest Greg, or some call me the Fact Machine. I have a much greater ally than you, which is facts. Facts! I'm going to show you numerous documents that prove I have been honest. You see, people, this is what honesty sounds like. This is what honesty sounds like, okay? Don't be mad. Well, I am honest. It's not a perverted thing, it's honesty. You know that I'm honest, or at least a lot of you know that I'm honest. I am naturally 
very, very honest. I'm an extremely honest person. I am an extremely honest person. And I'm an honest person. I'm a bluntly honest person. A bluntly honest YouTuber. I'm being bluntly honest as with as usual. As usual, I'm being honest. Y'all know I'm crazy honest. I'm always honest. Again, I'm Mr. Truth. I tell the truth. Anyway, this is the last time, uh, because I'm getting a tattoo. And it's over. After I get the tattoo, I'm never talking to you guys again about any of this. Time will tell. Get that crappy tattoo. Uh, nonetheless, I am halfway through this book. It's very unbearable read. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The videos for my uh, his book is coming. It's just, it's. V I've actually never read a book that's so. This book is hard to read. I, it's actually hard for me to read. Um, but I'm halfway through it. Hopefully I'll have a, I'll start it by the end of January, I'll start, I'll finish this, and I'll start making my actual book overview, extensive, comprehensive review of this book, showcasing you actual pages out of the book itself. Um, it's going to be really fun. Uh, uh, you should be very excited. I'm excited. Uh, regardless, thanks for watching this video. Anyways, all my uh, social links are linked down below in the description of this video. Please open that little description box. All my social, my Twitter, my Twitch, all of them are linked down below. I stream uh, three days a week on Twitch. Uh, it's love streaming with streaming with my audience here on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Repsion. I stream Mondays, I stream Tuesdays, and I stream Thursdays during the week. That's the only free time that I have. Love for you guys to join me in one of my streams. And until next time, thanks for watching this video and have a great rest of your week and happy new year.